welcome to cs academy today i am going to show you how to convert java pojo to json object in spring boot application let's get started let's open your eclipse ide go to the file click on new and go to other here search for the spring boot click on the spring starter project click on next here we need to give the project name java pojo to json and then group id as com.example artifact id also java pojo to json and then if you want to give any description you can give here and package name as com.example.demo and then click on next here you need to search for the dependencies for my project i need only two dependencies one is spring web to create the spring boot application and then another is json data binding but that json data binding is not available here i need to take that from the maven repository now i will select the spring web click on this and click on finish our project is getting imported look at here we got the project now expand the project now go to the pom.xml file look at here in this pom.xml file i added only one this spring starter web i added this dependency but i need one more dependency to convert java pojo to json object that dependency we will get in the maven repository now let's visit the maven repository here search for the maven repository go to the first link maven repository and here search for the jackson data binding go to this jackson data bind here we have so many versions you can select latest version i am going to select this one and copy this dependency and paste this into the our project pom.xml file save the file now go to the project here go to this uh, source slash main slash java folder and here you need to create two more packages one is to create the entity class and another one is for the rest controller i will give this package name as com.example.demo.entity and click on finish inside this package i need to create one class i will give this class name as student and click on finish now i will create one more package i will give this package name as com.example.demo.controller inside this package i need to create one class i will give this class name as student controller and then click on finish now go to this student.java class inside this class i will create three variables i created three variable first name last name and email id and i will create getters and setters for these three variable select all and then generate after this i need to create one constructor
Look at here, inside this class I created three variables and for that I created one constructor to set the values and then I created the getters and setters. Now save this file and go to the student controller class. Inside this controller class I need to write one method. This method will return the list of student Inside this method, I will create one array list. And then for this array list, I am going to add the student object. I will give the first name as Sachin and then last name as Tendulkar and then email id as look at here inside this class I created one method by the name guest student this method will return the list of student name inside this method I, I created one array list to that array list i had it four object student object and i gave the first name last name and the email ids after that i need to return this list now save the file and to make this class as the controller i need to give the arthur rest controller And for this method, I need to give the Arthur get mapping. I will give the mapping student. Save this file and run the project. Look at here. Our project is get started. It is running on the port number 8080. Now go to the browser and here give the URL local host. Port number is 8080 and our mapping is student. Then click on enter. Look at here. We are getting the list of student name. This is first list and this one is the second list it is in the json format and this one is the third and this one is the fourth look at here we are getting in the json object it is in the json format we are getting as a name value pair first name sachin last name tendulkar and then email id sachin at gmail.com like this we are getting the json object now i done with converting java pojo to the json object if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching have a nice day